friends so this week i'm not doing a psychology one on one with you but i'm going to talk about my vipassana experience to start with let me tell you what vipassana is vipassana is a 10 day meditation course where uh, you do not have access to your phones you do not have access to people around you cannot talk for 10 days in fact you can't even look at your fellow meditator because you look down so it is a pretty intense course and it is believed to be a buddhist form of meditation so i thought i would try this out and i was quite excited about it so if you want to enroll for the course it is pretty straight forward um so this is how you do it type vipassana course schedule and then you can click on courses uh vipassana meditation or click there so for new student you can just type um the location that you're looking at so for example andhra pradesh uh what is the language that you're looking at and then just type um uh, go so here uh, like you can see you see like a list um and you can see if it's open or if it's closed um depending on the dates you want to go uh you can just apply for it It's a very simple procedure just apply for it and you're all set for your vipassana course. Now that you know how you can enroll for a vipassana course, let me talk about my experience of vipassana. Um so the entire course was so intense. Um day 1 when I was there and I gave my phone off. Um it was there was this vacuum because I'm someone who carries my phone wherever I go and the moment I gave it off and and I knew nobody can contact me or I can't contact someone it was pretty intense for me but then I thought okay let me just focus on the meditation day 1 when I sat to meditate it was as if someone had pushed me into the ocean and you know right at the surface it was so turbulent so many thoughts that were there Uh, my mind had so many thoughts and i thought you know i could control my thoughts but i just could not so day one basically was really really intense um and you have to meditate for 11 hours a day so you start at 4 in the morning till about 6 um then you have your breakfast and then again you sit from 8 to 11 then you have your lunch and 1 to 5 again you sit for meditation um five o'clock you get some fruits and that's about it you don't get to eat anything after that and you again meditate um after that till about 7 and then you know you get to listen to discourse and you sleep by 9:30 anyways coming back to my experience of it um day 1 was intense but day 2 i had some control over the thoughts um day 3 was okay Day four is when they actually teach you the practice of vipassana, the meditation form, and um, right away I could feel it. So all along, um, you know, all these years I've been inquiring into, you know, who are we and what are we, and and I've been reading so much, but I had been longing for a direct experience that I really didn't find. But on day four, when I was meditating. I had the direct experience in terms of um knowing who we were like I could sense it like the sensations were there and that's what vipassana is uh vipassana is a process of being more aware of your sensations whether they are pleasant or unpleasant and just being neutral to it and not reacting to it and by doing that by observing that form of meditation you are able to not react to situations in your life and um i heard of this word called anicca which means impermanence and i've used it in few of my blogs as well but i never really knew what the real meaning of anicca was but the vipassana really helped me experience it and also after vipassana i've been more calm uh quite um uh less reactive to situations around me and i think more aware of myself um in fact i could connect um 
to the power of now, what Eckhart Tolle talks about. Um, I kind of sense that just being in the present, not really thinking about the past and the future. So this meditation kind of helps you uh, be centered in the present and not really ruminating about the past or the future. So I would suggest that all of you enroll yourself and at least once in your life have the experience of Vipassana for 10 days because it really transforms you. Um, I also had fellow meditators along with me um, so I would want to share a few of their experiences also with you. Um, so here are their experiences. Um, myself Nikita, I work as a UI developer in Bangalore and I uh, have attended Vipassana actually. Uh, I was having some uh, personal problems like I get so angry and uh, I wanted to know uh, why am I really suffering when it's not my mistake. And I, I was thinking that there is something lagging in me and I want to, uh, and I understood that Vipassana is something like which will make you to uh, observe inside. Uh, so I wanted to try and uh, after attending the course, I feel like uh, it's not somebody else. It's actually, we, uh, we are the um, mistakes are within us, 100% it is written from us only. And uh, uh, we can only change. It's like all the suffering, it's all because of us. and. Uh, uh, if we change the way we look at the world and it will be easier to uh, resolve from all the sufferings. That's what I feel. It's hey, myself uh, Chandra Mauli Prasita. I'm from Bangalore. I work in a uh, pharmaceutical company. Uh, so this uh, 10 days, uh, actually I didn't come up with any uh, projects or you know, this is going to happen after this and this is going to have to, uh, happen after Vipassana. That in mind because when I gone through uh, traces of experience sharing, I was actually getting into it. So people were telling that if you come without any expectation, that's going to be really wonderful. So I came with a blank mind, just wanted to spend the day, you know, take time off from the regular schedule and uh, do something different. But altogether, the experience was very good, and uh, there's a literal, tra uh, literally, the mind got transformed to, uh, uh, you know. Uh, <clears throat> transformed because of a lot of insights. Um, hi, I'm Sony and I'm from Bangalore and this is my second personal course. And how was my experience so far? It's difficult to articulate. Uh, I did this course first time in Hyderabad a year back exactly in December 2018. Then, it, I mean, I learned a lesson like yes, it was how important it is to accept things or situations, but this course it took me much deeper into the course or technique or I would not even say or dhamma as you know my Guruji has taught us and it was a whole new experience actually the second course was it, it's incomparable thank you so much um, so next week I'll be back with another interesting video um, thank you so much uh, for following me and um, you know, like I've received so many comments and, um, you know, it's been so encouraging for me. Uh, it's kind of given me the motivation to go on with the videos that I do. So thank you so much for following my channel and thank you so much for all the love that you've shown. Thank you. Thank you guys.